Okay, sorry about the headless video. So, we've been looking at some expedition style races for a while now. And, you know, we typically we do attrition races, so Texas Water Safari, MR340, and these are races where we just run from start to finish, no stopping, you know, and if you get to the end, you're all tore up, but you can make it. And that's the fastest way to do them. But we've been looking at longer races, uh, like the race to Alaska, some of the Florida races are so long that you're gonna have to stop and make camp. So, you, you know, yeah, you can just really start adding a bunch of weight when you start camping. You really have to work that stuff down. So, a little comfort of a little cooked food and a little coffee could, oh man, that could make a big difference to your mental well-being. But it can also equate into a lot of poundage. So this is where we go. You know, first we had our good old jet boil here. Man, that thing's awesome. And if we were gonna stay in the boat, out on the water, that's what we would take. But this thing's a little little under a pound. It's relatively, you know, it's got some, it's got some weight to it. And it's a lot of components. You know, we got legs and a fuel canister. You know, the canister is 100 grams plus the 100 grams of fuel inside. But it's really efficient. You can cook, you know, you can, boil two cups of water with five grams of fuel, maybe less. And this would be my, one of my first points to make, is I mean, if you're not purifying water, why did you take it up to boiling? You know, you're just using a bunch of fuel to get it so hot you can't drink it. So, big question mark there. As soon as I see steam come out of the top of the jet boil, I turn it off, that's done. And there's no need to get it in hotter than I can drink. You know, heat it up too hot and then let it cool off, that's crazy. And I am well aware of the world's greatest way to make coffee. You know, you boil it, then you let it cool down to 200 degrees, and then you put the coffee in, then you use the French press, and you know, we're talking about expedition racing. We're not gonna do all that. We're gonna throw some instant coffee in there, and we're done. Okay, next, I messed around with alcohol stoves. I made me a fancy feast stove with the carbon felt. Man, this thing works. The thing about that, and I mean, it weighs nothing. It's, golly, super light, except the fuel weighs a lot. I mean, you need, you know, between 21 and 28 grams of fuel an ounce to cook. So, I mean, for a pound of fuel, you can cook 16 times. That's, that's not very good. The fuel weighs a lot. And then I looked at a solo stove, the, the uh, twig stove. Man, this thing's awesome. It gasifies. It, whatever you put in there is gonna burn it to a crisp. It's pretty cool. So you don't have to take any fuel along. And that's cool. But when it's raining, you know, and everything is wet, it's, a, it's kind of a bugger to use. It's not, not cool. And I mean, if you're doing an expedition race and it's raining and it's time for you to come in and shut down, you know, you can't just go another 24 hours because it's raining. You, you need to come in. So that's gonna be a problem with this one. So, I don't know. If I was doing a super long expedition, like a month, I would probably take that one along. And then, the first stove I bought was an Esbit. This thing's so cool. It uses solid fuel tablets. And you know, you set it down and put your pot on there. You know, cook up whatever you're gonna cook up and you're, you're good to go. And these things weigh 14 grams. And, but still not the lightest thing I've discovered. But the lightweight fuel canister, that is pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So these, those fuel tabs, you know, they come in a little package and you can break them up into quarters, right? three and a half grams. So for one of those, you can start getting rid of all the stuff that we're not gonna use. The jet oil cup is actually amazing. It actually has a, like a combustion chamber right on the bottom. So what if you just set that out there and put that right over the top of it? Hey, we don't need a stove at all. So, for what I've discovered, 
is for one of those three and a half grams I can make 16 ounces of coffee and when it burns completely out it's almost too hot to drink beautiful right then and there we go I like that so I just break them into quarters and get going now the next thing is you know the old frying pan and the spatula and to make your bacon and eggs and stuff well do we really have to have that you know do you really have to have your eggs over easy nah nah so what about the old jet boil cup just use it put the bacon right in the bottom get it all cooked up put the eggs in put some onions let her rip so for this and a spork and that that's is all you need you're good to go